Hey, my name is Tim Roberts. This video is going to talk about flow simulation software. Often um, we have a lot of applications that we have in different environments. Um, it might be uh, an aerofoil um, in an airstream. Um, it might be flow through a tube. These things are typically difficult to test for uh, and expensive. And uh, in addition to that, you might want to run a large number of what-if scenarios in a short amount of time. Flow simulation software does exactly that. Um, I consider this to be the flagship product of our simulation line. It's uh, very powerful, very easy to work with. Um, here we are running inside SOLIDWORKS 2014. Uh, the model's here. Um, and we go over to our flow simulation tab to work with our project. Now, in your project, you've got boundary conditions that you set up. You're probably going to have some, some mass flow rates, some, some static pressures in a problem like this. Um, you're going to run this problem in its nonlinear analysis. It typically takes a little bit longer than, say, a static analysis inside SOLIDWORKS. And you're going to get a variety of results. Now, let's look at another type of problem. Often in the electronics industry, you have enclosures and you have objects inside generating heat, and that's a typical uh, internal project uh, for flow simulation. So we set up our project here. Uh, we have a number of uh, input conditions. Uh, you set your initial conditions and temperatures. You um, uh, sec select your fluids. Typically, it's going to be air in this case. Um, and you set up your boundary conditions also. Um, typically you're going to have some vents, you put static pressure on those, you'll probably have some heat conditions and you'll apply those and you'll run this project um, with a series of goals. Uh, I've got one here, you could have more than one. Typically you have um, you know one to five goals. So we run our project, we get our temperatures uh, and we can do things like this surface plot here. Um, just a few of the uh, things you can do with flow. Let me show you one more thing, uh, which is uh, flow over a cylinder in an external environment. This would be like um, an external analysis, right? This is, could be flow over a, a, a missile cone, flow over a, um, a bolt hole, um, could be flow over uh, a wing, right, an airfoil. So we set up the project in the same way. We still have our boundary conditions. Um, we have a much, much larger uh, computational uh, boundary. Um, you know, it's probably on order of at least five or six times this, the size of the object or more. And we run our uh, study and we get our um, re results. We can do things like plot, plot the flow trajectories uh, to see where you may have vortexes and uh, this is a 2D section plot, but uh, hopefully that gives you a brief interview, a brief introduction to what Flow can do. Uh, really hope you get your hands on it. Uh, it's really powerful, really nice to work with right inside SOLIDWORKS, and it does solve the full-on Navier-Stokes uh, fluid equations. Thanks for watching. Bye.